It is that time again. We've got a whole lot of FUD to bust because boy, oh boy, is there ever some today. Uh, let's just get right into it. What we're going to be talking about is the child labor and of course, all the insanity that is uh, Lynette Lopez. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Randy, we are short on time. We got to just get straight into this, but you're going to be excited, my friend, because Forbes is out with this gem, uh, more of a, what is it, a coprolite? What do you call those um, turd gems that they uh, excavate from uh, dinosaur sites? Elon Musk's laughable solution to Tesla's child labor worries. Oh. You remember this whole situation. The idea is that they've been they, they've been concerned, so concerned about cobalt in the Congo. Yes. yes, yes. And Tes T Tesla has famously said, you know, well, what does Tesla say about it? Well, I think they have three solutions. And I'm going to yes. number one solution would be get rid of cobalt or reduce the amount of cobalt that you're using. <laughs> and they've been underway. Doing, and they've been doing that and doing that and doing that. So that would be number one. I haven't heard Apple say that they're going to reduce the amount of cobalt in their phones, but Tesla is... No one's asked. Nobody said. Tesla is literally said and has actually executed on reducing the cobalt in their vehicles. And, they, and their goal is to be to zero. Number, yes. two, number two would be that they um, are using... And I've been under this system. They are requiring their suppliers to prove to them that child labor is not being used in the production. And I can tell you that as a manufacturer who sold to Disney, to Target, to Kmart, they came out and audited. They came to my place of business in California to make sure I wasn't using child labor in California, much less that my manufacturers in China or in Taiwan, et cetera, were not using child labor. They would send people to my suppliers over there. And I was a $5 million company. So Tesla as a major big time, you know, they can talk to their suppliers and tell them, look, you're done if we find out. And so we want okay. to it. Yeah. And number three. Number three? I forgot. Was it the webcam? Because that never materialized. But oh. uh, this is very uh, revealing here. If you bother to read the article, which I know a lot of people don't, uh, I did it for you so you don't have to. Uh, that's because the issue isn't mainly what's happening in the uh, Komoto mine complex, but the neighboring unregulated mines. Okay, so the problem isn't with Tesla, it's with the people who aren't Tesla. Guys, what are we, what are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Well, uh, you know, also, I, I took uh, issue with the with Forbes using laughable in the headline. Uh, so I decided, you know what, maybe maybe that's their jam. Maybe that's what they're all about. I looked it up. Uh, I just searched for the word laughable on Forbes oh. and found this article. Oh, darn it. Uh, this article and, uh, and really nothing else. Five most laughable non-GMO project verified products from uh, 2017, 15 laughable warning labels from 2010, <laughs> Facebook's laughable. No, nothing in business is described this way. Forbes, you're, you're being bad people is yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. So let's get by on way, to Lynette by, Lopez. Yes, please. By the way, I did remember the third thing, if I can quickly throw yes. it in. He said they would also seek out um, cobalt uh, mining uh, operations in countries are in places where child labor is not an issue. That was the third. Thing. Right. Australia, places like that. Right. And I, I thought the third issue was Rick Perry. Oops. No, so she... then we've got then we've got uh, Lynette Lopez, who is uh, who got caught making a wrong estimate of giga shanghai and she got praised for it by the tesla q crowd so now that's her whole identity ah. so when i see real real gems like the super selfish reason why elon musk is all in on trump by lynette lopez here's the problem lynette has um the ability to push her stories prior to editorial review oh. and as a result what happens is if you click on that link you'll find that the article has been changed to make america tesla again <laughs> they always tone down her nonsense because oh. even for bin cider the tastiest of all the spirited beverages um it's too much for them. So rather than read this because um doing so can give you eyeball cancer which is very <laughs> rare. 
very so. rare. I, I just decided to remind everyone who Lynette Lopez is. Don't even get me started on what Tesla's relationship with the Chinese government may bring. They own the land this Shanghai factory sits on and can take it back whenever they think Elon's out of line. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm going to point out that government is not the abbreviation. The abbreviation is govt. That is like high school level English right there. And this is a professional, Randy. Well, a professional yeah. professional what? I mean, that's up for debate. Uh, but let's let's look at this. Did you know there is no private freehold land ownership in China? So anybody who has any land in China, whether you are a Chinese citizen who has a farm or a house, you don't own that land. So what are you reminding me, Lynette, that China exists and has laws of their own? Because that's what I'm hearing. What did, did you not know this? Uh, yeah, I think it's obvious. I don't think this, there's, there's no, there's no news here. There is no news here. Yeah. There is no news here. Uh, so dumb, so dumb. And I don't remember if I managed to, did I show this one where it said that government yeah, that is abbreviation? That would also be true anywhere in the world. Um, if the wrong government got in power in the United States, um, yeah. and somehow, you know, I mean, you know, let's, let's yeah. face it. We have, there, there are... we have very specific laws of how we can take your land from you. It's been yes. adjudicated by the Supreme Court just about two years ago. Yes. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah. And we have people in the U.S. saying uh, nationalize SpaceX, take it from them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not smart people, but I mean, I wouldn't call them quite Lynette Lopez. Uh, then uh, this great post by Whole Mars Catalog, this I uh, claim chowder revisiting Lynette Lopez's Gigafactory Shanghai predictions. Uh, Omar did a fantastic write up on this where he showed this clip where she says, it's just a mud field. It'll never produce anything. <laughs> and of course, months later, mere months, not years, not a year, months later, the Model 3 is rolling out the door, and it uh, aged very poorly. Some people like to learn from their mistakes, uh, but some people, most people, in fact, are not Lynette Lopez, apparently. I uh, am not. Uh, I am not Lynette Lopez, and I don't believe you are either. Uh, but then again, I have more respect for the work we do um, because we fact check and learn from our mistakes. And uh, the problem with Lynette Lopez is the mistakes appear to be load-bearing. Uh, they're doing all the work. They're structural. They're, I mean, you can't. <laughs> and you they can't... also seem to be um, with an agenda. This is the thing that drives oh. me nuts about so much of the mainstream media is not that they're making mistakes. I made one once. And of course, I found out it wasn't a mistake. So therefore, it was a mistake that I thought I had made a mistake. But uh, classic be that be that as it may. Um, I've made mistakes. You've probably made a mistake. I can't remember one. But they're not agenda. They're not agendized. They're not mistakes because I actually know the truth, but I'm reporting something. I own my mistakes. I am the first to admit them because that's because I, I I want to have your trust. And if I can't admit my mistakes, how can you have confidence that I'm telling you the right thing in the future? It, it's not a, if I'm not going to admit my mistakes, it's not a pro, then truth isn't a priority. Right. Accuracy is not a priority. Right. And then, of course, we've got one more gem here because we got to we got to really rack it up here. China is key to Tesla's growth strategy without it. And by the way, I don't think you're running up against the character limit. I don't think you, I think you could have. But Tesla can't make cars cheap enough to mass produce. Did you know that, Randy? Did you know that without China, Fremont isn't profitable? What Austin's are you talking about? Berlin. Austin isn't pro Berlin isn't profitable. What are you talking about? But also Xi Jinping can take Elon's factory anytime he wants, according to their deal. So let's add reading to the list of things Lynette Lopez can't do well, uh, because I am not familiar with that clause in the contract that says, uh, take seas back seas. That's 
Do you remember what the conditions were under which Tesla would lose the factory? I would believe there was a deal during the first two years or three years where they needed to repay the loans. Uh, that's just a recollection uh, with interest um, and also begin to pay taxes like anybody else. Um, so the that big one, the yes. Yeah. So there was a minimum spend, right. which they hit yep. and grossly exceeded. There was a minimum uh, amount of factory build, uh, which they grossly exceeded. And then uh, there was also a maximum that they weren't supposed to exceed. And as soon as they got to the maximum, they're like, you can keep building. It's fine. So they've exceeded <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know what? If you want. But the big one, of course, is the tax and China's taxes are aggressive. China, Tesla pays more taxes in China than in, I think, every other country combined, uh, certainly for manufacturing. It is hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes they pay. You think they're going to give up that cash cow to nationalize it? To, for what purpose? So they can continue making 2024 models uh, forever? No, they, they that's... And the deal doesn't say you can take it just because, just for deep fried funzarella. No, my friend, it is you've got to do it uh, f according to the terms of the contract. And China's not going to just go and nationalize them because that would stop all future investments. And, you know? and by the way, Tesla's had this capability. I don't know that Lynette missed the first time that if they chose to put a factory in, say, Vietnam, uh, or into uh, Cambodia or Malaysia or India or pick a country in or Mexico, uh, which is the lowest labor rate in the world, and they already have the property, um, they could, uh, you know, probably in something like two years, um, replicate what they're doing in uh, in China. So it's the whole thing is bonkers guys this is the fud we deal with every day now i would point out this is something that came up at the event in san luis obispo where someone said you're always out there fighting against the fake news the misunderstandings the lies and i and we we need people to sell to tell good news and i'm not just when i see misunderstandings that are negative of course i correct them but when i see misunderstandings that are in tesla's favor i correct those too and that is important if somebody says well um, <laughs> yeah well you i have to be well i've seen people who said well getting rid of the supercharger team is fine because it's going to be inductive charging right but it isn't not today and not for all the cars already built and not for and not for the ones in the pipeline to be built uh maybe in a year or two they could do but then they'd still need to retrofit all the stations they'd need more i mean that's miss that's a misunderstanding in tesla's favor let's I'm data driven. I'm fact driven. That's all I care about. And as a result, a lot of people get upset because um, my facts don't always lead me to the conclusion that their hearts do. And I apologize for that. I love your heart. I think it's very dear and, and wonderful. And I love you as you are. But when it comes to the facts, I got to stick to them. I got to get on the road, Randy. Okay. I got to drive. Okay. I'm going to be back before you know it. Uh, everybody, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? If there's a truly bonkers story that needs to be ridiculed mercilessly, uh, let's do that. It wasn't and if you on my are, channel. That wasn't on my channel. <laughs> that wasn't on your channel. <laughs> no, we do that off camera yes. as a courtesy, as a professional courtesy. Um, yeah, the other day he did make a pretty ridiculous claim. Randy said that uh, Brian is good at knowing <laughs> factories. And I was like, how dare you, sir? No, that's uh, but uh, if you are a Lynette Lopez or the Lynette Lopez and you would like to come into the lion's den, uh, I will show you grace and, and courtesy uh, to defend your position. I don't expect that to happen. I don't think the position is defensible, but I am willing to be wrong uh, if if uh, Lynette has the courage to uh, make an appearance. Guys, what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? Leave it, I beg of you. Stay tuned, stay juicy, all that good stuff. Head on over to the Randy Kirk channel. Uh, and in the comments, you know, definitely praise this amazing quaff that is just my beautiful foppish do and uh we'll figure it out from there and uh i can't wait to hear from you clever robots when i'm back in studio certainly by next week